Hey, what's up guys? Joe here. Today, I want to show you how to fix the screen on this Pixel 4a. With the success of the Pixel 3a, Google finally found its niche in the mid-range phone market. The 4a shares a lot of the same build quality as its predecessor. Now, without talking anymore, let's get started. Hey, I know I said let's get started, but before we start the repair, I wanna let you guys know I made a pretty frustrating mistake during this repair. I thought about just editing it out and showing you the repair, but I wanted to also show you how to get through this mistake and how to move on because you're never gonna have a perfect repair. You're always gonna run into problems and you just gotta be able to figure them out and work through them. I'll have timestamps in the description and right here is the timestamp for where I made the mistake. All right, now for real, let's get started.
Hey guys, here's the mistake I was talking about at the beginning of the video. Hopefully you skipped forward to watch this. As you can see, I forgot to remove the blue protective plastic from behind the OLED panel. This film will prevent any adhesion between the OLED and the adhesive. Fixing this will be pretty twig, <laughs> twicky. Fixing this will be pretty tricky since I've already begun attaching the screen. I'll need to be extremely careful to separate these parts. This OLED screen is very fragile, so even light force could crack it. Using repair picks to work the adhesive free, I'll take my time during this process. Patience is the key to this situation with just about any um, problems you're having with a repair. If I can be careful enough, I should be able to get the screen free and it still be fully functional. All right, I fixed my mistake, but some of the adhesive under the OLED and around the frame's edge has gotten twisted up in the process. This could pose a problem with the screen laying flat, so I'll go ahead and remove the new screen and replace the mangled adhesive. It's really important to not skip steps when you're working with a screen that's glued down like this. These screens can cause major headaches if you don't do it right the first time. I was really lucky with this one that I was able to get the blue plastic off without ruining the screen. It doesn't generally go this smooth. But now that we're back on track, let's get to the repair. All right, as you can see, the Google Pixel A series phones, they probably have the easiest screen on the Android market to replace. You literally only have to mess with the screen. You don't have to go through the battery, the motherboard, any of those other technical things. That makes this a great repair. If you're looking to try one out, this is probably the best one to start with. This is another repair, guys, on Joe Does Stuff. Thanks for watching again. Please like and subscribe down below. Make sure you leave a comment, any questions, if you just wanna say hi or anything like that, let me know guys. Hope you have a good one. Peace.